It is a good day to be a Vanguard player. We got some uh, big, big news and uh, I just, I want to get into it. Ban list, new sets and so forth. As always, if you need anything Vanguard, go to 50cards.shop and use the code SOLEM. Link will be in the description. The new sets, the new trial decks, whatever you need, go pick it up right now. Now, the strategy meeting. If you don't know, once every few months, we basically have a big info dump, let's say, about a Vanguard and its near future. So first of all, we have Card Fight Vanguard Will Dress will return in January 2023 with season two and in July 2023 for season three. So basically more seasons for the anime have been announced. That would be awesome if I watched it. <laughs> one day, one day. Next, we have the new boxes here. So let's see, we have booster pack seven. Pretty, pretty, pretty. With the special DSRs once again. And then we also have reprints of crucial triggers. So the reprints basically of like the effect triggers, like the crits, the draws and the fronts, which is really, really welcome. I think the last time they were printed was in seven set three or four three <laughs> both of those i think and that was uh yeah really a little while ago let's say so really saw that they're reprinting these in here then next we have booster pack eight right here so these characters we haven't seen before this is gonna come out on 12 9 i assume that means december <laughs> i'm used to european dates but yeah i haven't seen this before also interesting that left character kind of looks like a mermaid but it can't be. C could be a witch. But it, it also has a little technology stuff here though. So it's probably in Brandgate. I don't know. It's, it's all kinds of weird. The right one though is very likely a Dragon Empire uh, ninja type of thing. Like Nubatama, Murakumo and so forth. Though we don't have really more info on that. We also have power-ups for the glitter archetypes. Pretty cool right here. This is of course in uh, the set 8 as well. Oh and here we go. These new right lines are from Brandgate and Dragon Empire. Yeah I got it. I did the big predictor -only. Then we have encounter cards here. So we have Lukie and Maelstrom. Very, very excited for that. I'm sure Derek is already peeing his pantaronis right now. As for Maelstrom, kind of weird because Flagberg was kind of trying to be Maelstrom's little brother. But okay, maybe those cards will, you know, fit together somehow. But I'm sure Lukie will be the fan favorite. Then we have Minerva also as an encounter card right here. Very fancy that they went this far. Fr from what I know from like the background is that Minerva is like a a very expensive character and the, the designer is like super well known so getting Minerva in the game again is apparently like expensive. I, I don't know the specifics but so that must be a pretty big deal right here. And then they also have like a very special serial number rare for Minerva. Okay, they, they last time they did this was I believe in a V when we had a Phantom Blaster dragon with like the numbered thingy. Those were very hard to pull. Not as hard to pull as the Rumi Labyrinth rares but beyond that, uh, you know, probably one of the hardest card pool ever. Now we have some more Deer Day stuff and the most important important thing here I feel is uh so the first game is gonna come with the cards from Star Tech 1 to 6 booster packs 1 through 5 lyrical trial deck 0 and lyrical booster 1 and 2 so we don't actually get set 6 in dear days so here are like all the all the packs they are a part of but and this is maybe also interesting there is a scheduled release for a DLC that's pretty big that tells us that they are not afraid of releasing new cards into it through DLC. So of course it's not confirmation that we will keep on getting DLCs, but this is confirmation for at least one. This is confirmation for the fact that they are open to releasing DLCs to put new cards in the game. So perhaps they will keep it up and go like once every few months or so go, oh, here's a new DLC. Of course we should assume that that DLC will be paid for. But again, if that means you have access to all the cards, I'm pretty for that. So that's really cool. I mean, at least feels less like the Vanguard EX thing last time where you knew like, damn, this, this game basically has a shelf life, sort of. So pretty cool news there. But then the real news, the real tea, this is what it's all about. So this is the Japanese ban list. We have Odysseus, ban, MFD, ban, and Ruination, um, basically limited in all decks. First Ruination, let's get that out of the way. This is, of course, to have the Japanese players not suffer under Ghidorah bullshit order colony type of stuff any longer. So that's really cool. Then Ripple, it's Ripple. It's likely the best deck in the format right now. It is very, very unfair. It can high roll and randomly win through it, but it can also just play a normal game and then also still win. Ripple is absolutely bonkers. And so, yeah, it had, it had to be dealt with. Like, this 
was super clear. The second Odysseus was revealed, people were starting to like try and solve it. And the very first versions of the deck even were already broken beyond belief. And those were like suboptimal, kind of shit. And still those versions of the decks were like annihilating the very best decks of the moment. And then people got to solving it more and more and more. And now the lists we're seeing are just annihilating every single thing in their path. Except for sometimes MFD, which is probably the most disgusting deck Vanguard has ever seen, which is like a big statement, right? MFD, while often bricky, like that's its biggest issue. If it low rolls, if it doesn't get its pieces, it just like bloop, flops over and dies. But if it doesn't, then there is almost no counterplay. They're gonna do their triple turn and you're gonna sit there and take it and scoop it up and it's over and uh, thanks for playing. Bye bye. This deck had to be hit and it's really interesting that uh, Bushiro didn't wait. That they're just like, yeah, this is a problem deck even though even Japan doesn't have results for it yet. It seems they're actually listening, which is really, really big. Even in my ban list prediction video where I said Odysseus like or Ripple in general needs to be hit and MFD needs to be hit but I didn't think they would hit MFD. I said it has to happen. There's no results for it in J Japan yet because I just don't have that many premium major events so I didn't even know it was on Japan's radar but here it is. MFD got actually hit really quickly and swiftly. They are aware of the problem it seems. I'm super happy. Like I'm I cannot express how glad I am with this because it usually people are like oh they're like acting slow on it. Oh they're not really paying attention blah blah nah they they acted quick they just saw the issue and fixed it so that's huge this is way better now i already know the comments people will say oh but they should have hit this too oh they should have hit this too yeah i get it look i want them to ban the over trigger as well i want them to ban other things sure for once please let's be so extremely fucking positive about the fact that they hit the two biggest issues instantly like instantly. This was so fast. I just gotta, you know, say thanks. <laughs> thanks for at least making the format pretty solid. Of course, there are things that need to be fixed, but this, these were like the emergency fix. Now, beyond that, we're gonna have to see, of course, the English version of this list. I'm going to assume it'll be next week or maybe if we're lucky this Friday, because like there's the, the English version of that strategy meeting I thought was this Friday, but, but we'll see. It's possible they do more than this, but I would at least be very happy already with with just these but again it's possible they do more i i told you in my ban list prediction what else i could would like to see hit but i don't know overall i'm very glad at least that even japan is aware of the biggest issues and actually dealt with them you know we see plenty of memes of people going oh japan doesn't even care about premium they're not even following they follow it's right here so yeah that's all hope you found this interesting overall very happy with the news let me know your thoughts in the comments down below be sure to like comment subscribe if you need anything vanguard go to 50cards.shop link in the description use the code solemn and i will see you you soon. Ciao.